Guess what, Judah? We caught a mouse. Where? In the garage. Can I go see it? Yep. We got him. Can we go show him all? Nope, we can't show him all. Welcome to another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. Not because I asked you, because man, it's Tuesday. I know that's not much of a reason to watch the video all the way through, but come on, I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from Western Louisiana. I like to make videos. All right, so I got to lay just a little bit of a brick sample. That way Leanne could pick out some certain things, you know, to be thinking about landscaping and just kind of brainstorming about stuff. It's still a few days before the windows come in, but I want to give her a little bit more time. This is not something that's gonna stay on the house. We're gonna pull it down whenever the bricklayers get started, but this is just something for us to get an early visual with. There's something I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I really don't like talking about things that aren't that cool and fun and happy and glittery, but let me just say I could look back over the past year or so and just see myself not really having any kind of health problems or not really feeling bad and just feeling really good. And, and I think about it, and I've been able to vlog and stay consistent with most everything, and I take that as a blessing, but for the past few days, I just haven't been feeling that great. I've been running a low-grade fever, and, and Lynn also, she, none of us have been feeling really good. I think the crud is just kind of coming through the house, and we've all been tested for rolling, and we're all good there, thank God. But I mean, and of course, that's coming to everybody. I'm pretty sure everybody on the planet is going to eventually get hopefully it's all been diluted by the time it hits everybody you know? but I just wanted to put that out there in case my vlogs are a little short right now maybe to lack a little luster but just that's just the way it goes it's real life okay thank y'all for understanding yeah I got to go to River and Judah school we got to take some uh, Christmas stuff and some treats and, and whatever and uh, we've been keeping the boys out of school not really knowing if it's the Rona or not but now we know it's not the Rona but we're still gonna be kind of cautious and do the rest of the week Randy what's up, what's up dude how you been good, dude we got the good. same mask Except oh, I'm not yeah, wearing yeah. my mask. Yeah, <laughs> this is Judah's. We do need to figure out a way to compromise and maybe share it, right? Yeah. Oh. oh my god! Look at that cute boy. You like it, Mom? That is cute. Wait, can I open this? Yep, definitely looks like you. <laughs> Looking tremendous as usual there, buddy. Thanks, buddy. And the wall looks pretty good too. Yeah, I saw something kind of crazy on the news today. It says a California jail is to release half its prison population. 59 of them are in for murder, 39 for attempted murder, and 90 of them for child molestation. And all this in some way, shape, or form due to coronavirus. This is a virus that has a 99% survival rate. That is freaking crazy. But I tell you what's not crazy. Well, it might be kind of crazy. It's these things, chicken wings. These suckers are gonna be fighting. <laughs> information going around the internet but this was from KNOE this is a local news network that tends to be pretty reputable and being part of the year 2020 we've seen a lot of crazy things happen that we never really thought would happen but we're in a very progressive weird odd immoral time I guess that's how you'd say it it's just like this right here that's uh, Paul from the coverage plan company please call me back at da -da -da -da. With regards to your car warranty, the people who bother you about your car warranty that you don't need or probably not even eligible for, they're texting you now. And then we potentially have Joe Biden coming in as president. It looks like it's gonna probably happen, unfortunately. So he's like 78 now, which would at the end of his first term, he'd be 82, and at the end of his second term, he'd be 86. What am I missing here? Conservative or liberal, I think we could all say that it's uh, gonna be really weird to have him as president because I think he's just not really fit to be president. I don't think he's strong enough. I don't think cognitively that he's there. And don't misconstrue what I say. I don't have a MAGA hat or a Trump flag on my truck, I, but I just think if there was another better presidential candidate that would, was running for office, that was better than Donald Trump, I would be happy to vote for him. But Joe's just not the guy. Anyway, I'm sorry about that political talk. That's that's it, that's it for that. So who all likes eggnog? I, I really like eggnog a lot. I think it's a really good drink and it's almost up there with the uh, Borden's chocolate milk. Of course, I wouldn't want to drink it like all year long, maybe just during Christmas time. And then a lot of people say they like putting whiskey or whatever in it and I've tried it like that and I just think it takes away from it pretty bad, so. That's pretty good. Hey River, you want to try some eggnog? Okay, if this is what I think it is, I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to blow your mind, you butthole. Don't Dandy, Dandy, switchblade. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Styrofoam, it's styrofoam. It's our brand new gas lantern. I'm 
You good? It's our brand new gas lamp that's gonna go in the front of the new house. This thing is huge. Okay, I've absolutely never tried this on wings. It says Serenado Condiment made in Texas. And the thing is, I'm looking for something that's not really that hot, but something that has just a little bit of sweetness to it. And maybe this will be it. And I, and I was using the Cory Bar Dane Fine Hot Sauce, and I hadn't had a chance to go over there to Parish and pick up some more, but that is some good sauce. One for now, let's see how it goes. Also gonna try Louisiana Hot Sauce, Sweet Baby Ray Original Barbecue Sauce, and Melinda Sweet Thai Chili Sauce. Clay, why are you being so dang complicated? Why don't you just use the regular hot wing sauce that everybody uses, and I'll tell you why, because I, I don't like it. I, I really think it's nasty. I know the Sweet Baby Ray is really good because I use it on wings all the time, but just for the sake of comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and include it in this. We're gonna try the Yellow Bird Serrano condiment first. It's pretty good, it's a little bit hot, it actually lacks a little bit of the sweetness I was looking for, but overall, not too bad. Now the old trusty Louisiana hot sauce. I would choose this over the Serrano, probably because I am a fan of Louisiana hot sauce. I put it in my ketchup when I'm dipping it in a burger or dipping it in some fries. It's just an all around good sauce. I'm actually kind of excited about Melinda's Thai sweet chili sauce here. That is really good, I would definitely do that again. I'm probably gonna put that on the majority of those other wings. And the old trusty sweet baby ray. <laughs> And as usual, the sweet baby ray is hard to beat. It doesn't have any spice to it, but you could put dang sweet baby ray sauce on a mayonnaise and sweet baby ray sandwich and it would be awesome. That has been another finger licking good episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.